Okay, we're still working on the first day to the Clark book. I think one of the easiest ones. Uh, it's not, well, let's just put it this way. It's not easy, but in relation to Clark stuff, it's one of the easiest ones out of Clark, but for regular trumpet playing, it's definitely not easy. So, don't want to take away from however anybody feels about themselves while they're playing it. Yeah, it's hard. You know, requires fast fingers, good technique. But in relation to the Clark book, there's many, many more that are much harder. So, I'm going to bring this way on down now so um, you can play it even if you haven't been playing for very long. So, it is at 120. You'll see a couple other vids on here where I put it at 120. Let's bring it on down. That still would be kind of fast for a lot of people. Go down more. I really want to get down to where um, ninth graders can get it. Eighth, ninth graders, eighth graders, ninth graders, tenth graders. Okay, notice I'm always using the metronome. Why is that? Okay, by the way, I'm setting the metronome on 63. So we're about half, folks. We're really about half. Why don't I use the metronome? Let me turn off the metronome. If you don't use the metronome, people out there who are, are practicing and trying to get your technique better, there's going to be a tendency to want to do this. What happens is when it gets easy, you're going to go fast. When it's hard, you're going to go slow. You're creating a very negative, horrible habit in yourself of playing uneven and you're also not going to, you're not conquering any technique really. You're, you're playing the easy parts faster and you're still playing the hard parts slower. So it's better to take it down at one tempo, even if it's a, slower than what you can play some of the easy parts and really knock that out and get all of it equal and even. And the one thing that keeps you honest, if you don't have a private teacher there or your band director, the one thing that keeps you honest with yourself is this guy. You'll notice a lot of the technical stuff that I put here on YouTube. And even if I work with you in person, we're going to have the metronome going. And just that's the way to go. Now, I've actually chopped this down in half, really, because I wanted a lot of people to be able to hear it. And if you're practicing trying to get inspired, you can actually try to play along with me. And this is doable for a lot of people. It really is. I got it down to 63. I'll give you the count off. We're not going to repeat it. We're just going to go through it one time. I'm not really trying to do all the day crescendo or the crescendos. There's a natural crescendo that happens even if, even, if, even if it's only subtle when we get higher. It just feels like it gets louder. But I'm not really going to purposely try to get too loud or too soft. I'm going to play it. I'm going to hang actually around MP the whole way. So here we go. We're going to go a lot slower. I'll give you the count offs in case you want to play along with me. This should be pretty even. One, two, one, go. <laughs> 